It's confronting, it's abrasive, but it's also one of my favorite things to do. I walk inside of an organization, I get to work with people and I say, hey, I'm gonna do a little exercise with you just over a couple of seconds. I'm just gonna ask you a very simple set of questions and I just wanna get your answer. Uh, who are you and what do you do here? And it's fascinating because what actually happens is that then people get to describe who they are and what they actually do. And it's such an incredible conversation because now all of a sudden you're starting to get really clear about how people feel about what it is that they do. And this is the great old bricklayer story. You would remember it, that whole conversation that there's three bricklayers and you say to the first bricklayer, what do you do? Oh, I lay bricks. You see the second bricklayer, hey, what do you do? Oh, I build walls. You get to the third bricklayer, you say, hey, what do you do? I build cathedrals. And this is that whole conversation when you feel differently about what it is that you do, you change the scope of the work, how you interact, your collaboration, what it is that you do to lift the organization up to where it actually is that it needs to be. And I love that whole driver because I go to meet people. Well, what do you do? Oh, I'm in admin. Oh, that sounds exciting. Oh, it's not really. I meet other people. Hey, what do you do? I'm the head of operations and customer success. What do you do? Oh, I'm the one that literally keeps on the glue that makes this whole thing come together. I work with the sales teams, the property management teams, get all the admin, we dot the I's, we cross the T's. We absolutely make this thing sing. We make sure we've got compliance, we manage all the legal stuff. We're also in a position that we're looking for efficiencies and how we get our people to be more productive and what it is that they get to do on a day-to-day -day basis. That's actually what I do. Isn't that such a difference? Like I'm in admin versus I'm the head of customer success. And this is the whole idea is that when you think differently about what it is that you do, you change the way that you feel about your work. And when you feel more energized and more confident about the work that you actually do on a daily basis, it changes how you interact with people. It changes the opportunities that you see. Everything is about getting perspective and worrying is for people that have lost perspective. Get perspective about what it is that you do. Get clear about the functional roles. When I walk into an organization and say, who do you go for for sales management? Oh, we don't have anyone. Who do you go for for deal assistance? Oh, we don't have anyone. Who looks after the property management? Oh, I think Jenny in the corner, but I've never met her. That's a problem inside of an organization. People need to be really clear about who to go to about what. And you need to make sure that you don't get answers shopped between mum and dad inside of the organization. What did Josh say about that? Well, that's exactly what happens. And this is really clear that you've got to make sure that you've got the functional roles that allow your organization to sprint to its level of success. You are capable of more. And it's about time that you get clear about who does what around here. And you make sure that everyone in the organization is really clear about who to go to so they can get the answers that they need to operate at their absolute best. Remember this, at McDonald's, they push all of the decision-making down to the lowest level of labor to the 14-year-old who makes the decision as to whether or not the burgers and the fries go out. They don't have the manager look at every single fry and every single burger to make the decision if it goes out. Micromanagement will only get you so far. It's so important to trust your people and to allow them to make the decisions. And the more decisions that we push down, the more opportunities that we have to play in bigger and better roles about creativity and where we take our businesses into the future. I really hope you've enjoyed our growth leadership and management tip and I look forward to seeing you next month.